Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. What a special occasion it is today. Today's video is the Golden Fs. Hopefully something we can make a yearly tradition here on the channel. We are going to be presenting a couple of awards today. Each of these award winners will take home the very coveted Golden F Award. Very excited. I hope you're excited as well. This is going to be our best award show ever. Obviously, oh, since it's our first. Thank you so much for being here with us on this auspicious night. We're going to have many categories, including Game of the Year, as well as Best Cooperative Experience, Game of I cannot believe I'm still playing is an award as well. Most surprisingly fun game. Game my viewers hated, but I loved. And of course, the inverse games my viewers loved, but I hated. It's going to be a great show. So strap in and let's get to our first nominee category. Game I cannot believe I'm still playing. Our first award of the night is going to be game I can't believe I'm still playing. This is insane that this game has still taken me for a ride. And that game is... Marvel's Avengers! Congratulations on your golden F. So yes, I am still playing Marvel's Avengers. Uh, there we go. Delayed. Delayed congratulations to Marvel's Avengers. But yes... Uh, Marvel's Avengers and I go way back, two years in fact, uh, but it has it has a grasp on me for some reason, and uh, it's a it's a game that we're we're still playing here at the end of 2022. Now it may not survive through 2023 and beyond, but as for right now, it's still a game that I'm still playing. So congratulations again, your golden F here too. Marvel's Avengers, a game I cannot believe I'm still playing. Our next Golden Effie category is Best Gaming Decision I Made in 2022. And to be honest, this was really, really easy. I didn't really have to think about this one too hard. The best gaming decision I made in 2022 was Jailbreaking My Vita. Congratulations, Vita. Well deserved. So honestly, the Vita is one of the absolute best systems I think have ever been created. It, it was way ahead of its time. I think it did so many things great. I, I think one of the reasons that it's not around anymore is because the developers, I don't think they really understood everything that it could do. I mean, for, for God's sakes, it has an OLED, right? This is amazing. I have one of the original Vitas. I mean, just the fact that I can replay some of these games that I've played already slash play all of these new games, right? Look at all these games that I have. And again, these are all potential future videos. It's amazing. I, I just, I'm so in love with it. It was one of the systems that I, I really hated putting down. And the fact that I was able to jailbreak it, give it new life, uh, just made me so happy. And not just Vita games, right? This is not just about Vita games. This is about all the other games that you can play, including... PSP games that I never got to play, such as Crisis Core. You know, this is getting uh, a, a remake slash revival in a couple weeks, a couple days, you know, so I can play the original PSP version. Thir Half Minute Hero is such a great adventure, you know. So many amazing games on here. Fantasy Star, Portable 2. Uh, there's just there's so much good stuff on here. So uh, the PlayStation Vita was the best decision I made, jailbreaking it so that I could basically play it forever. Like, I love this system so much. So, so Vita, congratulations on your golden Effie. You are absolutely the best gaming decision I made in 2022. 
Our next Effie, Golden Effie Award category is Worst Game Purchase. This is a game that I knew I was going to hate as soon as I saw it. I knew I wasn't going to play it. And I'm going to have to explain this one a little bit. But the worst game purchase that I made in 2022 belongs to... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowabunga Collection for PS5. I'm not really sure if they deserve a applause. But uh, here's your auspicious award. So let's talk a little bit about why I disliked the Cowabunga Collection. I knew I was going to, like I said. Uh, from a technical standpoint, the Cowabunga Collection is amazing. It's a collection of a bunch of different Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games that otherwise you probably wouldn't be able to play in 2022. You know, you know, unless maybe you went the emulation route, right? But the way that they packaged them with all the new features, the save states, the some of them have like God Mode codes, and uh, the way they did all of that, the, the actual collection itself is absolutely amazing in terms of features, accessibility, and just overall packaging. Yeah, I loved it. However, the reason this was my worst game purchase of 2022 is because it's so boring. Once you get past the nostalgia, the actual like minute-to-minute -minute gameplay is horrendous, right? Because it's all super old school. You're just jumping and punching for, for 30, 40 minutes. It's, it's not fun, essentially, is where I'm going. This game is not fun to play. It's a great game on paper, a great game in theory, a great game to say, look at all these games that are inside of this collection. I'm going to treasure this forever. But to sit there and actually play them? No, 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 no. It's really, really boring. It took me about five minutes of playing Turtles in Time, which, yes, is one of the greatest beat-em-ups ever. But once you take off those red-tinted glasses, uh, it's really not that good. It's really not that good. So, that's why Cowabunga Collection from Teenage Mutant Turtles has won the Golden Effie for Worst Game Purchase. Our next Golden Effie Award category is Most Surprisingly Fun Game. And this one, honestly, it did surprise me a little bit as to why it was so fun. Uh, but it was really, really great. I really, really enjoyed it. And that game is Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Congratulations, Dreamlight Valley, for being F Dash's most surprisingly fun game. And why is this, you might say? You know what, honestly. There's farming to be done, there is costumes to buy, there are Disney friends to befriend. It really honestly is just a really good time. Uh, there's a lot of different realms, a lot of different costumes, a bunch of characters just all around. This really, really is a very fun game. It's currently free to play, right? Which makes it even better. The barrier to entry is very, very small. So you don't have to worry about paying. Of course, if you wanted to get into the early access, you could drop a couple bucks and get that early access. But honestly, this game is incredibly fun. Incredibly amazing. And again, if you're into Disney or if you're just into farming simulators, I think you would absolutely love this game. So yes, my game... That is the most surprising has won the F Dash Effie, Golden Effie, for most surprisingly fun game, Disney Dreamlight Valley. The next Golden Effie category is Best Co op Experience. And honestly, uh, this one, I had a, had a couple, couple different choices, right? But I think I went with the right choice. So, the award for best co-op experience goes to... Yep, you guessed it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. This game uh, is just... It's super, super fun. Uh, the other game that I was thinking about was... 
was uh, Monster Hunter, but I think this overall, if you get, especially if you can get six people, depending on what system you're on, stupid PlayStation, uh, you're going to have so much fun, right? It does kind of get get a little repetitive there towards the end, right? It is 16 levels. Some of them are pretty long. But for, you know, a good burst of just good, clean, beat em up action, I don't think that you can beat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shredders with that. This is honestly uh, an amazing game. I really wish they would have supported it, supported it a little bit longer, maybe with some DLC, right? But for what we got, when we got it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wins. F Dash TV's Golden Effie for best co op experience. The next Golden Effie category is Game My Viewers Hated, but Game I Liked. So this one uh, was very interesting, to, very interesting to me because I really thought that uh, the viewers here on the channel were going to like this game. Um, but they really didn't, and I, I don't really know why. Uh, so the game my viewers hated but I liked is Trek to Yomi. Congratulations, Trek to Yomi, for winning the Golden Effie for game my viewers hated but I liked. Um, honestly, I thought this game would I thought it had it all. It was feudal Japan. There was sword fighting, you know, samurais. Uh, it had this beautiful black and white aesthetic. Uh, it just looks so cool, and it plays really, really great. I, I really thought it would do better on the channel, but for whatever reason, the viewers, you guys, were like, nah, I'm good. And it got really, really bad reviews. Not even double digits. And so, I, I don't know. I, I, I really thought it was great. I really thought you guys would like it, but unfortunately, you guys did not. And you know what? It's okay. Some videos are just not meant to, uh, just not meant to be. So the Golden Effie, again, goes to Trek to Yomi. For game my viewers hated, but I liked. The next Golden Effie Award category is game my viewers liked, but game I hated. And I think everyone knows what game this is. That game is going to be Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Congratulations on being the game that I hated, but the game that my viewers liked. Now, I've learned the error of my ways. Clearly, I did not give it enough of a chance because honestly, after playing Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, I have a, a new appreciation for Star Ocean and I might actually go back and play more of it. Um, I, I really didn't give it a chance. It, it was sort of like a first impression type thing, but it's supposed to be a really good game in the series and the series as a whole is supposed to be really great. And like I said, after playing New Genesis, I kind of understand it a little bit better because it's it's New Genesis. It's very Star Ocean-y. So, again, the Golden Effie for Game My Viewers Liked But Game I Hated, Star Ocean, The Divine Force. Our next Golden Effie Award goes to a game you've probably never heard of. The category is Best Competitive Experience, and that game is Gigabash. So Gigabash is uh, an amazing, I guess, fighter. You can play as a variety of kaiju. There's also like a, a Power Ranger type character. And essentially it's just you in an arena, whether that is like underground or in, a, in the middle of a city or a harbor, and you're just going to town, destroying buildings, playing as your favorite kaiju. It's honestly one of the funnest games you've probably never played. Seriously, go play Gigabash. It is amazing four-player action. It's so fun. It's really great. Gigabash wins the Effie, Golden Effie, for best competitive experience. Our next award category is our saddest yet, and it is for Gone but not forgotten. And I think we all know what, what game this is. Get your tissues ready. Card Monsters. Card Monsters is gone, but it will always live in our hearts, not just here on F-TV, but a million places around the world, on Discord, on Twitch, in your hearts, 
and in my heart. The Golden Effie Forgotten but not forgotten. Card monsters. Rest in peace, King. Rest in peace. We've made it to the end of the Golden Effies. I hope you've all had a great time tonight. But we finally made it to the award we've all been waiting for. The Golden Effie for Game of the Year. And this one, I, I... Honestly, I didn't have to think too much about it. I'm sure you won't agree. And let me preface this by saying... I have not played a lot of games this year, but the game for me that is Game of the Year is, drum roll please, Monster Hunter! So Monster Hunter Game of the Year, I've put in, gosh, what, like over 200 hours into this game now I'm not doing Monster Hunter world numbers I have 700 in that but Monster Hunter took up a great deal of my time and honestly I really loved it especially when I was playing with my friends unfortunately they did not make their way to Sunbreak with me and as the grind sets in on Sunbreak I have kind of lost a little bit of that luster but of all the games I played this year I've had no more fun than when I was slashing monsters, jumping through the air, destroying everything in my sight with either the Insect Glaive, the Gun Lance, or the LBG. And so, the Golden Effie for Game of the Year, Monster Hunter Rise, and its expansion, Sunbreak. So I want to thank you all for watching the Golden Fs. It was my pleasure to bring it to you. Thank you to all the games that I played this year. Sorry to all the games I did not play this year. Hopefully you'll get some burn next year in 2023. But for all those games, and for everybody behind the scenes, this is F Dash wishing you a great rest of your 2022. Thank you for watching the Golden Fs, and I'll see you next year.